Hi everyone, I'm Ryan and welcome back to Go Boss Gaming. In this video I am reviewing Peerhead Arcade with the Oculus Rift in VR. Now Peerhead Arcade is a game that consists of many mini games that you can play and compete versus global leaderboards, your local leaderboards just on your machine, or you can just play and have some fun with the games. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go and check out the menus and some of the options that are within the game, and then we're going to go ahead and play some of my favorite mini games so you can see how it all works. I won't play every game as it would just take a little too long for one video, but I will let you see all of the games that are available. At the end of the video you can see my full review scores for this game, so make sure to stick around and check that out. The pictures that you're seeing here in front of you are the gaming tools that I am using to make this video. The Oculus Rift with touch controllers and then the PC specs are there on the right. Let's go check out Peerhead Arcade. Okay, so here we are inside of the Peerhead Arcade, underneath the starry skies, out at the end of a pier. I guess that's why they call it Peerhead. And as you can see, the main menu here, you just press the A button as it shows you on the sign, and you get a little laser pointer, and you can click any of the options here, start your uh, multiplayer hosting, multiplayer clients, and over here is your actual menus, where you have your sound effects, ambient sound, player scale just makes you grow into a giant or back down to normal size, you can go really small if you want. Super sampling is for the Oculus uh, headset graphics, and the graphics quality is pretty self-explanatory, makes the game look better. And uh, that's it for the basic menus, let's go ahead and start the game. And once you get inside of the Peerhead Arcade, you can hear all kinds of games going on in the background and stuff like that, and you're greeted with all these menus. How to rotate, so you press your B button, and you get a little compass, and you can spin around. Cool. Makes it really easy. How to pick things up with your middle finger, grip button, or your trigger finger. You can pick stuff up and you'll see that pretty quick. And to crouch, press your thumbstick. You don't really know the point of the crouch, but it's there. And to start the games, you just hit the coin slot and the coin automatically goes in. Now to teleport, you just hold down your A button and a little hologram comes up like this. And why don't we teleport over to here? Okay, so, what do we got here? I need a... Oh, look at that. We got our little monkey that I won playing Toy Grab a little while ago. These things are actually, in real life, it's impossible. You'll never win anything, but I got myself my little monkey. Look at this little belly turns red. I got my little monkey, and I'm super proud of him, so I'm going to keep him right there. Got an, a jukebox machine that I haven't really used yet. And right here, we're at the bowling alley. You hit that throw a coin in and away we go we're bowling grab your index finger and give it a bowl and just like real bowling I, I'm really terrible at it of course and then quickly the ball will come back there you go and you get another shot look at that one Whew, picks up the spare and there's five frames in this one so it's quick uh, you don't have to wait too long between turns and you just keep bowling away and of course uh, it keeps track of your scores for you and to check out this little information thing you just hold your hand over it up comes this little tablet sort of thing and tells you how to play of course get rid of that and if you touch the earth looking thing there you get yourself the global scores your local scores and it tells you all the scores for each game and you can get rid of that too. Get out of here. So that's uh, pretty much it for the bowling. As you can see, it's pretty cool. And let's go check out uh, what have we got here. Super shot basketball. Pop the coin in. Basketball start coming down. With your index finger, you grab them and just start shooting. Yeah. Killing it. Look at me. A little fade away here. Oh yeah, like Kobe Bryant. What's that? Oh, Steph Curry's going at it now. Pretty good right now. Anyways, the feel of the basketball, it isn't great, and it's not like you're really shooting a basketball, but you know what? It's a game. Everybody gets a shot at it, and they all have the same rules and the same controllers you do, so look at that. I'm terrible. There we go. Five baskets. After a while, the basketball hoop starts moving around. It gets a little more difficult for you there. And what do we got here? The Scarab Toss. Okay, so, Scarab Toss. We're going to put a coin in, and these little balls come down, 
and you just start tossing them. You're trying to get them in that little pottery piece there. Yeah, not likely to happen, is it? No, bounces right out just like every uh, every carnival game. But you get points for putting them in all these different holes. Pretty snazzy music going there too. Okay, great. That's the scarab toss. What else have we got? We got cannon ball bounce. So check that out quickly. These little black balls come out here and you just bounce them off of there. And I think what you're trying to do is make a line. There we go. So we got 20 points for that. And uh, that's kind of the idea. You just keep bouncing these things in there. You get points. You know, regular other little carnival game. Now this one, most people are going to be familiar with. This is called the Dino Whack. Join a coin pick up your bonker and you got to whack these little dinos on the head you know don't hit the little boys you get minus 10 and you just keep whacking dinos until your cards content here now if you want pick up the other one from the other table and you can cheat look at that yeah I'm a cheater great throw them out there throw it down at that guy and you get out of here and we're gonna go check out rapid Fire. Okay, so we're gonna throw a coin in this one again, just like some of the other ones. You get these balls, and you're just gonna try and throw them through these little rings here. There we go, 10 points. And different color rings give you different color points. I'm sure as you level up, the game gets harder, or you just get more points assigned for the. Oh, look at that, I'm getting some for not even getting them through. Ah, yeah, there you go. The game got a little bit... Oh, I got a 500 with a gold one there. And that's the idea behind rapid fire. Throw them through, get your best score. Over here, we've got a uh, Coke... A Cola vending machine, maybe. What do we got? The refresh vending machine. So you pop in a coin, hit your favorite beverage, and out comes a pop. So we're going to... Oh, oh, I dropped it. Need some of that. Oh, oh. Okay, great. Throw it in the trash. Don't want to litter. And what do we got next? The Super Punch. Okay, so I guess this one, you throw in a coin, grab your boxing gloves, and these little targets start coming out, and you just want to hit them as quickly as they come out. So that one was good. Perfect. And as you can see, the quicker that you hit them, the better you're going to do. Watch, I'll wait a while. That was okay. And you throw your gloves at the guy's face because you're done. And over here, we're going to check out Binary Dash. This one's kind of neat, actually. It's uh, lights pop up, and you're just supposed to, you know, put the lights out when they pop up as quickly as you can. Yeah. And there's some great music. If you hit the red ones, your points go down. And you're just trying to hit out as many of these lights as you can. It's another silly little game, but it's kind of fun, you know, to compete with your friends. See if you can get the most, and uh, you know, make sure Grandma's not in the room when you're doing this. You're gonna poke Grandma right in the belly by accident. Yeah, cool. Binary dash. Good enough for me. Let's go check out the next one. What do we got here? We got rocket ball. So, pop a coin in there, and we're gonna get some rocket balls coming at us. And you know this one. You're just supposed to roll it down the aisle. Try and get as many points as you can. Come on. Come on. Yeah, pretty basic, you know. Oh, you're going for those hundreds and those fifties, but I'm not very good at it. Up pops your leaderboard score, and you can put in your name here. Your boss. And you hit done, and then you can go check out. There's your friends leaderboard, your global scores, your local leaderboards. Okay. Oh, a bomb is on. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? We've got uh, the gallery. Okay, you pop in a coin, grab it with your finger, and you just start popping these little air BBs at all these little targets that come up. You can hit the flowers too, as you can see there. You only get 10 points for those ones, 25 for the ducks. 100 for the rabbit, and what is it, 50 for the fish, 
And you know, there's a little time limit. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at that air balloon. I never even know those existed. And you throw your gun at them because you're done with that one too. And what have we got? The Jungle Jumble. Another one of those stupid little uh, toy grab games. And this one here is called Arctic Shuffle. So, these little penguins come down, and this is another spot where the touch controllers aren't exactly perfect. You can see I haven't quite got this thing. But you just slide them down there and try and get as high points as you can. Look at Oh, I just got to the very end of the board on that one. That one slid off. And the final score, not so good. Arctic Shuffle. Good one. This one's kind of weird. Comet Drop. I don't really understand the point of this one. You press the button, and these little balls of cookie dough <laughs> come down and they start bouncing around. And I guess you're trying to get them in the highest scores here. But the things just bounce around. I don't know. The game doesn't have a whole lot of interest for me. Let's go check out this next one. It's called the Honey Rush. So, pop a coin in and these little things, they operate this bar. And the right side goes up and you can adjust the left side up. And you just want to get inside of this little red honeycomb here. This little... Oh, see that? It lost just like that. So you're trying to get it into that red one. It's actually pretty tricky and a little bit fun. So we'll go over and check out the... What do we got here? The zombie shootout. Once again, grab it with your middle finger. You can grab that. Pump action. You gotta pump it to reload it. And then press the trigger button to fire. This one's pretty fun, actually. You get the birds, too. Come on. Firing at all these bad guys, the mouse. If you gotta get pretty much the king of the birds. There we go. It doesn't take a ton of skill, you know, just load the gun. And aim, fire. But you'd be surprised when you see the leaderboard. Some people are pretty good at this game. And when you're done, throw your gun at them just because you're done with it. And over here we've got the prize hut. This is the last section I haven't showed you guys. And what do we got? 458 tickets. Yay! So I can get what? Maybe a pylon? Let's get a pylon. Great. Pylon on my head. I don't know. That's that's a lot of fun. And you can get other things too. I got this little um, airplane. And you can throw the airplane. Look how far it goes. All the way to the other side of the arena. And that's pretty much it. That's Spearhead Arcade. Got a ton of little mini games you can play and uh, create competitions with people if you want to. It's fun. Check out the global leaderboards and try and beat the scores if you want to. But it's a fun little game. Why not, right? It's cool. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and check out the GoBoss Gaming uh, review scores. Spearhead Arcade is just what it looks like. There's a bunch of mini games for you to try out and you want to try to achieve high scores versus the world or you're just looking to set some high scores on your machine and versus your friends. It's really fun like that. The amount of games there are to play makes this game quite enjoyable and it brings back memories of me playing them at the carnival myself. The graphics are good enough but with a little too many colors it can have a negative effect in VR sometimes. The touch mechanics work great and you can use everything fine but it's not 100% perfect yet. The throwing of the basketball, for instance, has its issues, but once you do get used to it, it's not too bad. It is a fun game though, and it's worth checking out if you're looking for a game to please a group of people or just throw on when your friends come over. And that's it for this video, everybody. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel to easily keep up with GoBoss Gaming's most recent videos and check out some others as well. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time, happy gaming.